Do you guys hear this thing? We gotta quiet this thing down. I already tried the uh, the Noctua fan mod. The Noctua fans work in a lot of scenarios. Unfortunately, the 40 millimeter variant uh, just doesn't have the airflow necessary to keep everything cool in this thing. I found a great product that not only reduces noise levels, but also maintains great airflow. I'm talking about the Arctic S4028-6K fans. fans. There will be a link in the description of this video, uh, so if you want to purchase these for yourself. Obviously, you can hear you can hear the router right now. It's very noisy. And the fans are going to calm down a little bit. Here we go. It's quieting down. So we're going to measure the amount of airflow coming out of the back of this thing with the stock fans. Real primitive test, guys. But it gets the idea across. So I'm just going to stick it right up to there on the back. We got like uh, 10 miles per hour. Now, before I swap the stock fans out with these uh, Arctic fans, let's just look at the temps with the uh, stock fans, and then we'll move on to swapping these out with the uh, Arctic fans. All right, let me go ahead and uh, log in here. So we'll do uh, show environment, and then I'll do uh, pipe section uh, core. Okay, so we have, uh, so for core A, B, and C, we have uh, 39, 30, and 37, and that's in Celsius. At this point, we have the, uh, we have the noise level, the airflow, and the temperature of the router. I'm not going to do anything crazy, put this under load, and do all of that. And this is just meant to be... It, just a general idea of the difference between these uh, between these fans. This right here is a custom fan tray that I made uh, containing three of these guys right here. So let's just pop this in here like so and fire this bad boy up. Let me preface this with something really quick before I continue. The stock fans, these are, uh, and of course this is going to vary depending on what kind of equipment you're running, whether it be a router, a switch, a server, what brand, etc. These fans in this ISR 4431, these go all the way up to 25,000 RPM. Now, they're not spinning that fast when you first turn it on, nor are they spinning anywhere near that fast once the router uh, boots up. But once the router is booted up, they're still spinning at 9,000 RPM. Um, and these are, uh, obviously, they're, they're pulse width modulated, so the router can, uh, you know, control the fan speed very easily uh, and make it go up and down depending on temps and stuff like that. Now, these fans, these Arctic fans that I just put in here, these are running at full speed right now. And as I'm sure you can tell, it's a big difference compared to uh, the stock fan trip. Now, I'm sure you're probably wondering, well, it, seem, it does seem a lot quieter, so what about airflow? The airflow, it's obviously it's a little bit less.
I think it's excellent when you compare it to the stock fans that spin up that high and are that loud. Um, so anyways, let's go ahead and look at the, uh, the temps. For core A, B, and C, we have 39, 33, and 36. And that compares with, let's see if I can scroll back up here. So we had with the stock fans, we had 39, 30, and 37. 39, 30, and 37. 39, 33, and 36. So the temps, the temps seem to be pretty good. Now, obviously, if this thing's put under heavy load or if it's in a hotter environment, it's going to get a little bit hotter. But I think those are pretty good temps for uh, these fans and the, uh, the speed that they're spinning at and the noise level uh, that they're, uh, or the noise that they're emitting right now. Um, and so this is exactly why the, the Noctua fans were not working for me, because even though they're silent, they just, like, the, the temps were up to, like, I don't know, I think it was, uh, like, 59, uh, 52, and 60-something. And That's exactly why I wanted to find a, a better solution. The uh, Arctic fans, yes, they are a little bit louder. And so, with that being said, really quick, if you need extreme silence, if, if you can't handle any noise whatsoever, like if this is sitting in a library off in a corner next to one of the bookshelves or something, then I don't recommend these. But I'm going to tell you right now, these fans put out over double the airflow of the Noctua fans, but they're so much quieter than the stock fans in uh, so many 1U uh, rack mount devices. I've had an extremely good experience with these so far. Uh, the noise is tolerable, it's acceptable, and uh, most of the time I don't even uh, realize this router is running. Now, it is running in a rack uh, with a bunch of other equipment. That equipment is also pretty quiet as well. Anyways, like I said, I'm going to leave a, uh, a link in the description below um, so you can uh, purchase one of these for yourself. That's about it. Thanks for watching this video. I hope it was helpful and uh, I'll see ya. All right, so let's just see what happens really quick if we take, I'm sure the wire will burn through, but if we, let me take this outside.
All right, bear with me for a second. We're having technical issues. I uh, dropped the battery in the uh, the fan, almost cut my finger off. 